Hello and howdy to everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome to my probably my second video. It's kind of like the part two of my first video. In my first video, I was just got done showing you this custom guitar that I just built, and it has it's loaded with EMG pickups. It's got an 81 and an 85 in it, and I was playing some examples of sounds in my other video, and the battery crapped out. <laughs> And so I said I would be back when I got a new battery. But instead of just putting the, the battery in and playing it, I always wanted to kind of go over putting putting the battery in a in a guitar. If you have a, a guitar with a EMG pickups, and maybe you didn't install them yourself, and it came with like that, and the when it starts going bad, or the battery starts uh, dying out. The sound your sustain will lose. You'll you'll still get sound. But your volume and your stain will be cut down greatly. That's when you probably need to change the battery. So, I'm just going to show you a little bit. There's a little bit of the front. I'm going to lay it down right here. Up there, I think everybody can see that. Okay, I've already got these screws loosened. So I can get these out real easy. If you don't lose it down in there. That can be a pain. Always put your screws somewhere where you know you're not going to lose them. They tend to disappear. All right, take this back clean up. Okay, so what I've done here is I've wrapped the battery in this foam stuff. You can get this foam stuff out of any like you order something from Amazon or whatever. You usually get wrapped stuff in this a lot. Like if you buy the MGs. For in a set like the 81 and 85 together they usually come with something like this but if you didn't you're like me and you're putting the guitar together from scratch you have to come up with this stuff so I just found this out of some packing material out of a box so what uh, do you to wrap it all up like that when you're done and it keeps it from rattling around in there and you don't have any noise when you pick up the guitar you hear the battery rattling around so anyway you don't want to jerk on these because you might, it can break the wires right here or whatever. But sometimes what I do is take just a little bit of screwdriver like this. Stick it in there and just gently ease up on it. Pop that sucker off right there. Just like that. And throw that on the side. And then I found this little thing in the garage sale. It comes in really handy battery charge tester. It's a brand new 9 volt I just got out of the store. Positives on the little thing. Put it right on there. Shows that it's good. Keep it brand new right out of the store. Doesn't even go all the way to good but it's good enough for me. It says good. Alright. So I'm just going to pop that sucker on there. On there good and tight like that. Anyway, before I wrap this all up, stick it back in there, I just want to show some stuff right here. If you've had trying to install your EMG pickups or whatever and hang on, get some bad focus here. There we go. That's kind of what it looks like. I put a little copper shielding plate in there to kind of help with the grounding, which EMG pickups really don't need it because they're internally grounded. But anyway, you want to take the two red wires from both of your pickups, and they go together to the hot wire of the battery. And you want to solder those together along with that and put some uh, shrink tape on there, shrink that up real nice. And I got this little import toggle switch here, but I couldn't find any diagrams online that said, said what it was, but I finally figured it out. What it is, the output is the middle post, and both outside ones are your bridge and your neck pickup hot wires. So if the position is down over here for your bridge, that means that's the bridge, and then up, of course, is the neck pickup. Then it goes out, and then the little tab on the side is the ground. Once I figured that out, it's a piece, piece of cake. Anyway, that's what that looks like in there. And also on an EMG guitar, 
you always want to make sure that your pots are 25k it won't work with the 500k or 250k but uh, 25k and your stereo and your jack has to be stereo because it has three leads coming off of it you got the white lead and the black lead the ground alright All right. maybe that helped you a little bit and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this battery back up there's my stuff here wrap that back up nice and neat wrap it around good Alrighty, set that down in there. Make sure you're not smashing anything. Set down easily. All those wires good there. Alright, we're good to go. Put our plate back on. Anyway, that's good. For, that's how you're putting your battery in or whatever and then I'm gonna cut this video off get my amp and all that stuff going and then I will make another video of sounds how it sounds with a good battery so I hope you like this video maybe it helped you out if you're hooking up to pick up yourself or whatever anyway uh, hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe if you want to anyway thanks for watching